Oh, I'm here to dance. It's alright. What? Right. I know, you need to find that, uh... The, well, it's a new phone now. Yeah, I got I'll, I need to re-email you. The, the song. The original song, yeah. yeah. We'll start it like that, whatever. Yeah, yeah that's fuck. fine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were talking on... Feels good to be back at the church, We're though. back at church, that's dude. Really good. Even the smell. It, yeah, it's, it's like, like a... It, it does have a smell. It's like a... Not musty. Nah. Like, kind of attic-y, though. It's attic for yeah. sure, dude. Manly. Like wood. Manly, manly, yeah. It's like wooden, like, stuff. A little dusty smelling. Yeah, but off screen... Oh, damn it. This is what happened last time. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We're off to a bumpy start. Uh, yeah, bumpy start. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, do. But uh, you are right, off camera, though. You were talking about, like, you were excited to do it, and then you were tired. Yeah. I was, like, cutting the grass and shit, and I was thinking about, like, I remember before we started What the Fuck But Why, and I'd always listen to, like, um, JRE or Fighter and the Kid or whatever, and I'd be like, man, like, I would love to just go to a podcast. Like, I would love to be like, oh, I got to do an interview or a podcast at, like, 4 o'clock. Right. And then, like, I was like, I got a podcast tonight. And I was like, man, it's, like, fun. It is. I need to, like, remember. Like, that's Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted that. Yeah. But I'm just, like, I'm not used to, like, leaving the house on, like, a Saturday night by myself. Yeah, it's different. I, like, feel bad in a way. I felt, yeah, like, I was looking to Caitlin, like, I'm going now. Like, is that okay? (laughs) Like, I had seriously said that to her. I'm like, I said this. And then, you know, she was out till, like, midnight last night drinking. So, I was like, fuck off. I was like, are you mad? She's like, no. But I could tell she was, like, at least Caitlin was a little, like, she's like, well, you could at least help me get the kids down. Yeah, no. like, all right. And he's got a friend sleeping over. Eli does. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. No, Kirby was like, bye. (laughs) She's like, fuck, I'm going to fucking bed. But, like, to your point, yeah, like, I don't know how many, not, it doesn't happen a lot, but, like, if she was going out with her friends, I'd be like, okay, bye. And she'd be out till three in the morning. Yeah, right. Yet I feel bad leaving from, like, 10 to 10, 11.30. 11.30, yeah. But they'll be out till five in the morning. Yeah, whatever, yeah. But no, I know what you mean. And there's, it's something about the podcast. Yeah, there's something. It annoys people. It annoys people. It does, (laughs) dude. Well, it was so funny, dude, when we did the Deep Creek one, and we talked a little bit about this. Did you like the Deep Creek one? I did. I I liked liked it it a lot. I liked it a lot, Mm -hmm. yeah. I was fucking hungover, though, dude, and I didn't like that. And, and, I couldn't tell. And I was on, like, two hours of sleep because I slept in that fucking tent mm-hmm. on the floor. Caitlin and Mia were up on an air mattress, mm-hmm. and then I was on the floor with Hobby, and every little noise, Hobby yeah. <laughs> growling and fucking <laughs> kicking me in the face and, like, stepping on my nuts and shit, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So I was tired then, but it was so great. We shut down the dock yep. so that we could do the fucking podcast. And we get back up there like we're done. And I could tell there was like an energy coming from up mm-hmm. in the house. I'm like, dude, we got to be done. Yeah, you found it. I didn't feel Yeah, it. you didn't. You yeah, did. you were like excited. It was fun. But then when we got up there, they're all huddled up in the fucking living room. Watching TV. Watching TV <laughs> and it's like a nice, beautiful morning. <laughs> We shut down the we fucking down dock. The dock. I know. And we walked in, and I was like, "Thank you, everybody, right, you did, for fucking you for date letting us have the time down on the dock." Mm-hmm. But it was weird when we walked in there, was it not? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it I mean was, they're used to it. Yeah, right yeah, but I mean it's fun, and like, and I'm gonna say it. <laughs> say it. I'll say it. <laughs> if there was a paycheck coming from this bitch, is this yeah. what you knew I was gonna no, say? No, no. <laughs> Nobody would give a fuck. Nobody They'd be like, oh, yeah, fuck. go do it, do it ten times yeah. a fucking week. They would change everything. Oh, like, yeah, dude. And then we be. could talk about anything we wanted. Yeah. There wouldn't be, like, this weird thing in the mm. air. Luke's telling too much of the truth. <laughs> the truth. Holy yeah. fuck, he's like, revealing too much. Yeah, no, I agree. That's just... You know, it, <laughs> I'll be, like, in a good mood, right? I'll be, like, in a great mood. Yeah. And I'll get a text, like... Uh, I'll get a text, like, you have any graphics money coming in? And then, like, right away, I know what that means, you know? And then I'm like, what? And she'll be like, blah, 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 blah. And, like, talk about money and, like, Ooh, blah, blah. Kirby. Kirby. Okay. And then it just, like, ruins my mood. I'm oh, like, yeah. Fucking damn it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking damn it. I was just trying to, like. Yeah, she just slammed the door on yeah. your good mood. You know, the girls love to do that. 
They'll be like, and then we gotta pay oh, that bill. Yes. We gotta pay that bill. And yeah, then like, did dude. you pay your insurance? Bumming me out. Did you call Comcast? Did you yeah, fix did Comcast? Did you do this? Did you do this yet? Did you do that? Yet? Like, no. Fix the fucking tractor. <laughs> did you fucking fix that tractor yet? It's been sitting down there for fucking six months. It's always like, no, no. yeah, no, no. I did. I, I, I'll get to it. We'll what just did, fucking take it somewhere then. What did you do? Yeah, what did you do today? Podcast. Yeah, we podcast. <laughs> What hang out with my fucking brother-in-law and had a good old time. Yeah, dude, it's fucking great. Is this thing on the right setting? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what's funny? You know how I changed it? I actually thought it sounded worse when we... <laughs> when we changed it. But then you, you turned it up. Yeah. And then it sounded all right. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what I had to right. do. Right. Yeah. Turn it up. Yeah. yeah. yeah turn it up. <laughs> I was laughing to myself. Yeah. It was funny. <laughs> I was talking about making it better, but... Fucking... No, it fucking... Well, it just quieted. It made it quieter. Right. And yeah. we were outside, so it might be like a different audio. Yeah, because this has like the uh, yeah, yeah. The walls and stuff. So shit's bouncing off everything. Dude. I mean, I don't know how that technology works. I think it just opens up the back of the mic, right? Yeah. You know how we were um, talking about being born on December in like yeah. astronomy and Astro- shit? Yeah, astrological fucking... You know how I was saying like every Saturday night podcast, I feel like goofy, like yeah. laughy? Yeah. So like, why? It's just Saturday night, right? Right. And I always feel a type of way Saturday night. So is that that far off from like people that are born in December? Christmas and like the winter. Like maybe there's just something to it that makes people a certain way because there is something different about December than Th- I mean, that's, yeah, there could be something to it. Could. There could, yeah, but we have no fucking proof of no. it. No. And like some asshole fucking writing something on a in a newspaper on the type of person you are and what's going to happen to you. Yeah, I agree. It's a bunch of bullshit, dude. But, like, it's like the full moon thing, dude. When the full moon's out, like, shit gets weird. Yeah. I remember being at the beach when I lived down there. There's a lot of people, like, crammed in together. Full moon. And shit shit got fucking weird during the full full moon. (laughs) We should talk as long as we want this time. (laughs) Just keep going. Yeah, let's not feel any pressure. All right. Yeah. Yeah. If we go too long and it's, like, too long for people, we'll just, like, save it. Or just fucking just put it all the way. Just put it it out out, there. Yeah, dude. I've been listening to Joe Rogan and... I listened yeah. to a four-hour podcast <laughs> with him. I yeah. was like, Jesus. I know. He can go for a while. It was the... Oh, I listened to... Oh, I forget which one it was. Look at you always bringing him up now That now that you listen to him. It's like hard not to. Yeah, it is. It's like fucking hard. Yeah, it's hard. Because He's the like, podfather to us. He is the podfather. He, he really is. And they all fucking give him credit. You know, like he erupted like a whole thing. Yeah, but we're different than him. It That's why different. we can talk about him. Right. Because we're not trying to do that. No, we're not. No. Like, in, like, sometimes I feel like it'd be cool to be like that. Yeah, I know. But there's no way we're ever going to be like that. I couldn't keep up like him. No. With, like, those guys. Yeah. Like, I would just... I yeah, well, I'm too dumb. That's what makes But at good. the same time, like, I haven't listened to, like, any of his earlier shit. Like, Maybe I think the part... I will. But I think the podcast has made him smarter. Yeah. You know, like, it, and it gives him reason to actually dive into all these different topics and fucking okay. retain the knowledge because he needs to speak about it. I'll give you that. You're right. Okay. Because even with us, like, I feel like we're getting better at talking. And I had no idea getting into this that I was going to have to fucking figure out how to talk. I know. You know? <laughs> we're going to be great at fucking dinner parties. Gonna, yeah, Christmas we are. Parties. Huh? Yeah, we'll be the fucking. We'll be like a circle around us. Uh huh. We'll just be <laughs> yeah. talking. Yeah. But listening is a big point too. Yeah, we'll, like yeah, we'll just be listening. Yeah, we'll just listen to everyone, and then come here and talk. Yeah, talk our talk shit. shit all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so fucking funny. No, I would have had my dad up tonight if he wanted to for the second half. Yeah. He's yeah. funny, dude. Yeah. I mean, I could have got him too, but yeah, no pressure. Yeah, yeah no, no pressure. pressure. He just got a new floor. He's enjoying his new floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks. I've cool. never seen that tile with the fucking fake grout that's yeah. like glued around this, the edges. Well, that's why when you go to do something, you go to the store. Like, what the fuck? I don't even know where to start. Yeah, there's so many options. Yeah, there's so much shit. And you just leave. I just leave. I'm like, I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, dude, I get overwhelmed too. <laughs> I, just, I leave. I have to have a list when I go to Lowe's. No, you know what fucks me up? I forget fucking shit all the time. I never had to fix my plumbing or something. Yeah. And I had like a whole game plan, you know. And then there was like a plumber there. That happened to be there. He's like, what are, you, what are you getting that for? I'm like, blah, blah, blah. He's like, nah, I wouldn't do that. 
And then he like fucked all my shit up. Yeah. So I bought something else. And then I got home. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had it all mapped out in your head on yeah. how to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, and that fucks me up too. Everybody has like, a different opinion. Of yeah, how you that. Do it. And like, there's so many different ways to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, like I could do it this way. I could do it that way. I could do it that way. Mm-hmm. And then, like, whenever I see more things, then it like the options grow even more. Yeah. And I'm indecisive as fuck. Uh, me too. You know. That's why part of the reason why, especially whenever I, I don't really know, you know, like if yeah. I'm kind of like experimenting, right? That's when my indecisiveness is fucked. That's why I needed somebody to come with me, rather Kirby or my dad, because I just got a car, you know. I needed yeah, somebody to come with me. Dude, that thing's I, I, slick. I, yeah, it's dope. I wouldn't have got a car, I don't think, by myself. I'm too indecisive. Yeah. Yeah, it's my dad. Like, yeah, hey, you like, need just a little bit of a nudge. Dude, my, my dad, though. <laughs> oh my fucking god, we. You know how I live right by Ford? Yeah. He's like, you know, he loves Ford. Yeah. We, like, my uncle, Dave, um, worked at McCracken his whole life as a mechanic. So we always got Fords. Yeah. Everybody. Like, there was not one not Ford in our family. <laughs> not one. Well, not one Ford. Every single person had a Ford. Really? I was the first one when I was, like, 20-something. I got a Dodge. And then now my mom got a Nissan. Like, I broke free of the Yeah. Well, he got fired. Broke- or he got laid off. Or... They've oh, so then that there. broke the Ford. Yeah, yeah, but the um, Ford curse of the Friar family. I'll, I'll make this story short. So I live right by a Ford, like right next to a Ford. You know, a dealership right by my house. Yeah. He's like, he's like, well, let's go look at Ford. I'm like, I don't want a Ford. He's like, let's go look at Ford. You know. I'm like, all right. You know. And we literally the first car we see, my dad liked, and the sales guy came out, and he's like, my, they're trying to like. You had me like walk out with it, you know. And I'm like looking. I'm like, yeah, Dad, dude, I don't dude. want this car. Well, it was my dad, <laughs> not the sales guy. Oh, your dad my, was pushing my you. My dad was. It was both of them like t- tag teaming me. <laughs> You're like this dude, is t- my what dad was, was it like, like an escape? Yeah, an escape. Yeah, they were nice. They're it was okay. Nice. They're okay. Yeah, I like, I like mine better. better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. I don't know, Jason. You should get that. I'm like, Dad, we just got here. Like, we're yeah, supposed to go right. car shopping. Yeah, we're shopping. Yeah, he wanted to get the first thing he the saw. The first one he saw. So I that's how I am, too, though. Like, the first thing I'll see, I'm fucking... But like, the, all right, cool. Like, that's me. how I got my truck. Not me, but the car salesman, dude, he, like, comes out. He's, like, order. He has, like, this raspy voice. We're, like, talking. He, like, lights up a cigarette. He's like, yeah, this fucking thing, fucking that. He was like super old school. Yeah, yeah was, that's cool. Yeah, old I was, Pittsburgher Yinzer and he shit. He wasn't a Yinzer, but when he's like lit up a cigarette, I was like, like that's ballsy of or like old school to do yeah, that. Yeah, right, just right. Like, like he just didn't give a shit. Yeah, man, blow it all over the fucking place. Yeah, somebody who was like a liberal. Pussies. What did yeah. like, probably left, they're like yeah. Tra- yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wasn't scared to fucking nah. impress you. You ever get that? <laughs> People walk by. <laughs> no. I've, that's happened to me when I used to smoke. Really, when yeah. smoke? They do it on purpose. I was smoking in my car the other day, and fucking, I got like a stink eye from a lady, and she rolled up her window. She's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. rolled the window up. And I, I was like, <laughs> I only give the stink eye when they're pregnant. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's kind of fucked up. You get? Would you? It's kind of like a weird. There's like, some wow. judgment that needs to be. That's fucking okay. Thrown. I think that is. Yeah. That's okay. Because I mean, what we know now. You're killing your fucking baby. Right. But there's so many people that like judge. But, but then it's yeah, because it's a baby. Right. No. You know, like don't Forget judge your me. Shit. No. Absolutely. They should be yeah. judged. That's wrong. They should, yeah, that's wrong. You can't be. They could be mentally a ill or they could have uh, that. retardation. <laughs> there's a lot of things there's that could go wrong there's a lot of shit that could go wrong yeah. yeah but then I'm sure there's like did your was your mom a smoker did she smoke with you in the womb yeah but <laughs> see dude then you can't really judge that but it wasn't good to do it no and I don't know like I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure yeah but I know either. what you're getting at yeah no I'm still judging it though. you're still gonna judge it yeah 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 just like a uh, priest used to see rape. this knowledge the more knowledge we get in our fucking race in yeah. our society it, like, creates room for more judgment. Right. Like, the more we know and the more we learn. I know. It creates more for fucking... It's like The gavel. The cum gavel. Bring it out. That computer is gone. I have all that shit on my old computer. But, um... What? Like, I... All, like, the you cum... You a new computer? Yeah, not, like, a new computer, but that one Like, broke. you rebuilt it? Oh, yeah. that's right. I remember yeah. when that shit happened. But, uh... Yeah, it's like we're aiming for this, like, perfect society... And we're never gonna achieve that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't think we can achieve a perfect no? society. No. I mean, like, what the fuck is a perfect society? 
the hell does that look like? like the yin, yin, we have no yang. fucking idea. It's always like, you know, what There's comes... There's got to be some chaos. Yeah, right. And what comes with, like, being right, then it's just like people get too, you know, too crazy about it. And it's just like this constant, you know... Struggle. What about, uh, this is like... <laughs> uh, that guy, you know how the, the guy was on the news, like, oh, bring my wife back. She was missing. She was no. his pregnant wife. And like no, a three year old and a five year old. What? Well, oh, anyways, happen? there was like a lady missing. She was pregnant, eight weeks or eight months pregnant, with a three year old and like a five year old. The whole fucking family was gone. Except the dad. Except the dad. And he was on TV, like crying, like bring him back, bring him back, and he just fucking confessed. He killed them all. Eight we eight months pregnant, a three year old. That happened and a in California, year. didn't it? I don't know where it happened. Maybe. Wait, he killed the whole family. Yeah. See, this was different. Like he like killed his pregnant what i don't know i didn't hear that yeah it just happened jesus dude how sad. the fuck can you do that from your mind we were like, talking just about, fucking leave that's what we were talking about when we were in there I, that's all i watch now like at work is dateline they're like they're like 30 minute stories yeah it's just unfucking real the stories i've like you know heard like the one chick she was like 28 she got married didn't really like them that much she kind of got pressured into it eight yeah. days later they were um you know uh in the mountains walking around and she shoved them off and she threw them over the cliff yeah. I, I and remember lied seeing about that. it and yeah stuff, dude but, I was yeah. into those date lines when I was drinking all the time I'd lay in the basement yeah and they're awesome watch that I shit. Fucking, yeah. they're sad but it, you know who's cool is that Lieutenant Joe Kendall I don't know like no the, yeah. Lieutenant Kendall dude that guy's a badass he's out in Colorado and he's a Colorado he's a, he's a murder investigator that was Colorado. And he's from fucking Monroeville or some shit. Oh, and he's on those Datelines? No, it's not Dateline. It's a, it's ID Discovery, that okay. fucking channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I put that shit on and just watch it. And then <laughs> when like I quit drinking, I was like, "What the fuck, dude? Like how can like how is this entertaining? Like I'm watching all this painful fucking heartache shit. And like, is it interesting? Yeah, kinda. But at the same time, like, it's like other people's pain is. My entertainment. I know. It's, and that's how I see the fucking news now, too. Like, they just splatter all kinds of fucking bad news out there. And it's like, is this supposed to be entertaining? Am I being informed? Like, is this information that's necessary in my world right now? Well, it makes well, me... You don't even pay, you I pay am, I swear. I swear. I was trying to see if he had, like, finally, if new details came out of why he did it. Because so far, they don't know why oh, he did family. it. his family. Yeah, that's, that's him. Okay. I'll put things up. And then, uh... But you don't have anything to say about my deep emotional thing no. that I was just talking about? No, you don't. You don't care. And killed those too. What a fucking asshole, dude! And she got was eight, kids. eight months pregnant. What did he have a girlfriend or some shit? No, that's um. Well, I'm, like they filed for bankruptcy. It stunned his neighbors and friends where they asked how the story of a was there uh, life dude, insurance involved, dude. On there's always fucking there's always life, insurance. life insurance. Yeah, dude. those kids probably had fucking five hundred thousand dollars ahead. And like four months ago, Shannon posted that her husband, like I love you, like on Facebook, like they're like you know the picture perfect couple, really to the you know to the world. No, but I like watching them when I'm in a bad mood. It makes me feel better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I'll, but then I'll think Pretty like good, I, yeah. I turn it off, and I'm like, oh my god, like what if like Riley went missing? Yeah, dude, that shit freaks me the fuck you know, out. And like that's what like raped, is it... getting raped in a dungeon. Oh. Dude, it happens all the fucking time. No, like, it doesn't happen all, all the, the time. time. It happens, but not all the fucking all time. all the fucking time. It happens once in a while. Worldly. When you talk about. Okay, yeah, Dude, worldly. All the yeah, like time. you go like Thailand and shit. There's fucking dungeons. Oh, yeah, that's shit. what I'm saying. Just all there's like little kids in there. Dude, that shit's. And they take fucked, them, put them on a boat, up, ship dude, them. Fucking human beings are mm, fucked up. Scary. The sex trade. Mm -hmm. The trafficking. I don't know a whole hell of a lot about it. Neither do I. Uh, I was getting into it a little bit, up. but oh, yeah? yeah. I just feel like. I just feel like like I'm a I'm not a girl, and like I always think like, dude, getting raped must just be like, fucking horrendous. Horrendous, yeah, right? Yeah, dude. Like just her, like the most scary. I saw this story. Like you cannot overpower a man. Yeah, like a woman can. We can't even comprehend that. No, what it's like to be a female yeah. and to have yeah. dudes constantly like guy raping you in jail.
Oh, that would be fucked up. That's like getting like, in jail. Yeah, it probably would be. Would yeah, be yeah. Dudes can get raped yeah. by other dudes. By other dudes. Yeah. I don't know if a dude could be raped by a chick. It actually might be worse. Well, it might be worse. A big dude raping you yeah. <laughs> in the ass, and you're a guy, and that's a like gay. I don't know how you could make it worse or better. I think it's, it's worse. fucking rape, I'm dude. going Rape's worse. bad. You're going with worse. <laughs> I'm going worse. Because of the gay factor. Because of the gay factor. Yeah. Like, are you gay then? It's just as... All right, let's equal it out. Right? It's just as embarrassing. Time. Okay. It's just... Um, it's just as embarrassing, you know. It's just, it's as, just like, demoralizing. As demoralizing. And it's all like just, and then, but the, the, and then, but we have, but it's gay. It's so like well, we have that to live with. Like I just got raped in the ass by a dude. By a dude. They just got like raped and it sucked and they got like overpowered. But we did too. Yeah. So it's the same. No, because we have a notch. <laughs> just because of the, the notch. Gay. Because we of have, the gay. Because of the gay. Unless they don't the have chick that. is pregnant. Right. Then that fucking trumps that shit. Okay. For sure. But they have to get pregnant to trump our gay. To trump the gay. Right. The gay factor on being raped. Right. <laughs> right. I don't understand. I, I mean, like, gay people are fine, but I don't understand. Like, uh, how could it be pleasurable getting a penis stuck in your rear end? Because women do it too. I get Yeah, they do. I heard it just takes like it. time. Like, you start slow. <laughs> That's what you heard? Yeah. You know? so that's what butt plugs are for. <laughs> I'm serious. But I, like, all right, I don't get it. To warm up the butthole, loosen it up a bit. I don't get it because, like, to me, even with a girl, it's like, that's disgusting. To yeah. Me. Like, anything but, it's like, it's like they poop out of they that. They poop out of that, dude, yeah. Like, so poop. it's like, that's yeah. off limits. So I've never really been, like, interested in sticking my penis in a butt. No, I just used to work with this black chick who, like, loved anal more. And she would always, like, tell people, like... Shit about that it. shit. Oh, she did. Yeah, about the butt plugs and like. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, I got the four one one on anal. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I never met a chick that actually like was open and honest about like getting fucking rammed in her ass. Hear this story. So this big dude went to a parking lot. Right. Okay. There was a pregnant lady, super pregnant, in a car with two kids in the back seat. Like yeah. it, it was like Eli's age and Mia. Was she smoking? No, <laughs> she was pregnant, and this dude like got her out the car and made her give him oral in front of her kids. What the? In a fuck? parking lot. Did he have a gun? Yeah, I think so. He's a big dude, you know. Made, yeah. Made you know, gave, gave him oral. She's pregnant, you know, in front of her kids in like the back of a parking lot. And then he gets in the car, takes her home, rapes her. In what? front of her kids. And the and kids were there the whole time? And it puts a gun to the back of her head and blows her head off with the kids right there. Nuh-uh. That's the, I swear to God, that's the people we're dealing with. I swear to God, right hand up to God. Yeah. And that's like one of like, dude, in my fast Kirby, like, I gotta keep showing her stick. I don't want to see that shit. Just like, dude, yeah. I saw this, like, uh, this you mom. You can tell you're fucking watching all this shit. <laughs> this mom. It's that, like, like all you got to talk about. It's just amazing because I, that people can do that. Yeah, it's fucked up, dude. But People, we don't, individuals are fucked up. We don't really have to talk about it. Like, I don't human, even know how we got on that subject. Humans are just a very, very fucked up being. Well, what do you want to talk about? To be able about? to do stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, it got a little dark. Let's get off that. What do you have? I don't really have anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you listen to my yap? Yeah. I'm going to do that at um, commercial break. Oh, you are. Yeah, I didn't. I was trying to listen to it again. We're gonna start the second half with that. Yeah, with All that. Right. Do you know? Have you been planning what no, you're saying? No, but I can freestyle it. I remember All right. it. Yeah. All right. So in a little bit. All right. Fucking. Uh, remember, I told you we're like, oh, we're getting ice cream, and I'll be over. Yeah. And it was funny because we were like, we had the windmill and Brewsters, you know. And when she's like, where do you want to go? And I was like, let's go to the goddamn windmill, because I support it's local like the businesses. little, little man, yeah, right. fucking I wish, right. I wish more people would do that. Yeah, I do. There's that place churned by my house, but it's fucking expensive. That's the Was problem. it good? It was, yeah, it's good. Yeah? It's real good. Was you it get expensive? Like a, you get, like, no, you get, like, a funnel cake, like, a, you know, like, a huge funnel cake with, like, ice the cream Ice cream, on it. strawberries, mm-hmm. and all that good shit, yeah. dude. I haven't been, like, eating a lot of sweets recently. Like, they've just been, like, I'll look at them, like, I'll go, I used to buy fucking candy bars, and I'd eat, like... I'd eat jugs of fucking mm-hmm. ice cream, but it's like turning me off. And I bought a pumpkin roll. Yeah. Dude, it's pumpkin roll season. Yeah. Do you like that shit? Yeah. That's like one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's not one of my favorite but things. But I, like, I could eat an entire fucking pumpkin roll from, right. from Giant Eagle. Like, right. it's all moist and yeah. chewy and like soft. Yeah. Just click. Sorry. Keep it. But um, I bought one today and I, 
I couldn't like bring myself to eat it. Huh. Yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. That's it's weird. like too sugary, dude. Like I'm just turned off by sugar nowadays. Getting older, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I'm getting diabetes. Oh, diabetes. Shit. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Everyone always compares diabetes to everything. Yeah. It's like, what if it was fucking diabetes? Yeah. You can't fucking. They do. This is deja vu. A lot of people. What? Did you see that somewhere? Or (laughs) is this deja vu? The date that everybody compares everything to diabetes. No. All right, keep going. (laughs) Somebody said that. I just did. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Go. I'm just trying to let you talk. They always compare it with, like, addictions and shit. Yeah. You know? No, I agree. I hear that shit all the time. They'll be like, uh, but how? How do they compare it? Like, like if they try and look at it from like a disease standpoint. Yeah. And is it a choice? Yeah. Is it not a choice? Yeah. And you're like, well, fucking, if it's a disease, you know, you're going to tell a diabetic, like, they don't have a disease or it's a, it was a choice. And some people, it is a choice. Dude. You could yeah. eat yourself into fucking health problems like a motherfucker in this That's country. true. It's like yeah. a terrible thing. You can, yeah. And, like, it's okay. Like, our society's okay with fucking consuming large amounts of sugar to the point where you're dying. Yeah, I know. To killing yourself. Well, we're but, it, but it's not okay to put a different substance in your body that makes you feel good. Yeah. You know, like, why is there so much judgment on the drug addict? Well... Like, why is that? You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to fucking smoke cigarettes. It's okay to eat tons of sugar. Yeah, yeah, It's okay to drink caffeine and fucking alcohol. Yeah. But why can't you fucking... There is something to that. There's something about it. Well, the pre... What would you say? The preconceived... Oh, uh... Biased. Biased. Yeah, cognitive bias. That's what it has to be. And, and that shit's taught into our society. We're just so used to that. Bad, yeah, bad, like bad. It's bad, bad. And like, but, I think... But it doesn't help when like, dudes are... Yeah, dude. Oh, and no, I, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's but, like what you're but, dealing with. But have you, you ever know? done those drugs? Like, that guy is fucking in paradise right there. Like, yeah, he's but, fucking flying. He's loving life. Yeah, he's loving life. <laughs> he is. And whatever the fuck he's been through... Like, that's, he might look all fucked up, but he feels, to him, it feels great. It feels great. And he'll do absolutely anything to get that, mm-hmm. you know? And we judge so hard and fucking throw him in jail and fucking, you're a bad human being. Right. And all this shit. There's and the, something to it. There, there is. is, dude. And that's just like trying to relate on the drug addict side. <laughs> do you ever, <laughs> do you ever listen to podcasts all week and you're like, all right. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna like blah blah blah. Oh yeah. But then once you start talking, it's, just it's, the like, same. it's all gone. Yeah, it's just the same shit. <laughs> Not even topics, just like how you're gonna be. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you do that? <laughs> all the time. Yeah. I, I hate when I'm like, like talking fantasize. and laughing. Yeah. And I'm like doing it now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like fantasize of how you're gonna be able to fucking yeah. speak like yeah, yeah. perfectly. It's all the same shit. So I say I'm gonna play the yap for them. And we'll come back with the yet. Are you ready to do that now? Yeah, because it's about 727. It's about oh, you, that thing's going to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got to listen to it again. Okay, we'll do that. Because I couldn't fucking find it. All right. It wouldn't let me find it. I All was right. trying to find it, Jason. Right. I, couldn't, couldn't find I have it. it. All, right. All right. For sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, what? dude. <laughs> dude. What? Now I'm mad. What? Hold on, let me do this. Maybe I'll have to cut this in. So, here we are. <laughs> the Church of Y. Yeah. What the fuck? But oh! Why? Episode 21! 21! Yeah. 21. 20, 21. 21. Yeah, 21. I'm gonna do it this way. Or no, here, put a two up. Way. Put a two up. I'm doing a two. Oh, yeah, you gotta know, work. I'm doing a rock and roll two. <laughs> I'm doing this for a one. Oh, yeah, put the straw up. <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a 12. It would be? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's 12. 21. Two one. Yeah. But, uh, we forgot. That's the first time we that. was did the that. first time we forgot. I'm Why? Because we were talking a lot before we started. Right. And we just jumped in. We were in. talking about shit we didn't want to talk on the podcast. I'm not happy about that. Because things have been going on in our lives. <laughs> yeah. I'm not happy about that. What? Forgetting that. It's going to bug me. Is it? Fuck yeah. It's Good. Bug. It should. I love our intro. Are you going to become diabetic now? Yeah. <laughs> you, you could cut it out and then That's splice it. I You're going to. That will. You'll fucking Tourette's it in. <laughs> All right. Break. Tourette's break. All right, social prophet. So I've been sitting here thinking for a little couple days about what the fuck but why and what the fuck it is exactly. A theme. We've been hearing that a lot. Like, what is the theme? Oh, we're trying to find the theme. 
and I wasn't too worried about having a theme and we're trying to let it happen organically but for some reason I feel like you had a theme the whole time you sneaky little prick (laughs) it's like a documentary on your hippie brother-in-law's personal transformation out of a deep alcoholic state which is cool because like that's actually when we started this thing that was kind of the path that I wanted it to go down as well and it got derailed by some concerned family members and I tried not to get back there but then at the same time looking back on some of the episodes it looks like you're trying to manipulate it to go that way and that's some exploitive shit motherfucker fucking exploitation of a Lackawanna and if that's what it is and that's what you want it to be that's fine because in the beginning that's actually what I wanted it to be because I came to a realization that well, what what did we want to do? What, like, what was my purpose when we started this? And I got all excited. I was like, yo, we can change the fucking world. And I know that's naive and definitely blown up. But when I started thinking about it more, I was like, well, I don't really know shit about shit. The only thing that I really have a lot of knowledge about is my personal experience. And I have been going through a lot of tr- personal transformation And by sharing that, maybe it could help people. Help people see things differently. And when we were derailed from familial concern, uh, that kind of threw it all off a little bit. And I think that you saw it as like a documentation, documentary, dramatic documentary but at the same time like you were in it with me I was just definitely going deeper and I know we've talked about this but things are a little bit clearer nowadays with my mind and things so I think that's the direction I would like to take it as well but it's scary shit bro like when it comes down to it like That's digging deep and personal. And it would definitely be something that I would be on alone. And throwing it all out there is weird. Like putting it out there. And I think it freaks people out and it makes people question, I don't know, my sanity or my purpose. When my purpose and my cause is actually just to become a better person than I was before. And I think that's what's beautiful about this life journey. And that's a big part of it is that we can all strive to be better. And I found my place myself. I found myself in a place of not liking myself. And there was not a lot of love that I had for myself because of some of the actions I was doing and I think it'd be cool to document this shit because I think I I could help some people maybe but then at the same time like I don't want to make it about that like I don't want to blow myself up like yeah we're gonna do this and we're gonna fucking help people because that's almost a selfish way to do something So I like to, I don't like to, but like that makes me pull back a bit. And I don't know, dude. Just trying to figure out some clarity on what this is. And I liked our last podcast, number 18. You haven't put it out yet. About how we talked about who's driving and who's navigating. Because in all reality, if that's what you are looking at, as this is like a documentary of personal transformation um just know that it's more about me and I'm driving this bitch 
So I could drive it into a ditch if I want to, you prophetic little weasel. <laughs> but I don't know. I was just recording my thoughts on the subject. I'm going to send this to you, but you are going to approve it. Or no, I got to approve it before you put it out there. Because uh, it's still confusing on what the fuck, but why, and what the fuck is it. The theme. It makes me a little uncomfortable to be the theme of a podcast. Like me, myself, and I, to be a theme. <laughs> Jesus. Lackawanna going hard at the social process. A little bit. That wasn't yeah. too hard, was it? No. It's just expressing myself, that's, Jason that's Fry. Fine. It is fine. And obviously, I had it way better in my head all week. Did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had like a whole thing. Then you like sit down and. <laughs> and here we are, yeah. It's yeah. just gonna shit all over. But the cliff notes I wanted to bring up was that A. There's Ray. A. I think. You're too caught up on who's driving or who's not. It's just like part of the fun is like we're just like doing it in like uh, it's like maybe it's like the guy who has to edit it obviously is going to naturally have a direction that he takes it because he's editing it. And maybe you're just self-conscious about it because there's nothing you can do about it. Because you can't, like, so you feel like, fuck, I'm just, like, stuck in the back seat. Yeah. And, like, because, you know what I mean? But, like, a lot of time, like, I don't really mean to take it to a direction. I'm just editing it and doing funny things and then uh, not even thinking about it. But then, like, you smoke and look at it and then you have this, like, paranoid thought of Parano- what's happening. Well, that's what I told you whenever right. I sent it to you. I was like, dude, tell me if this is paranoid It is. Not. It's just paranoid. It is, but not... Is it all the way paranoid? All the way paranoid. Really? Yeah, but this is why, let's not get too caught up on like... All right, that's, okay. not, that's like a great point. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay, another point is like you say that like one minute... Damn, he's distracting me. Sorry. Um, damn, I wish I remember what you said, but you're talking about... Uh, um, like I'm driving it or talking about you and blah 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 but then the next minute you're saying like you have no idea what you're doing and you just started listening to podcasts and blah blah so maybe that's why it feels like I'm driving it because like I do have you a direction know, you have an idea of where you're you going don't. no I have no idea so it's like I wouldn't take that out on me that just because like somebody has to have some type of uh direction to it you right know? but it's still not like it's just it's not what i think y- it is yeah but like but like what, i'm really just trying to be like, funny at the end yeah of the day. yeah no funny. no 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 dude and i get it and like this is one thing about like my paranoid episodes like yeah. i learned shit from them i don't let them like Screech. <laughs> did i whistle hey like, what wrong sonny yeah. Damn, do you know I didn't? Yes, you did. Are you sure? Positive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you squeak there. Just yeah. Just, 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 keep going. Sorry, fans. Oh, fuck. What was I saying? Fuck. Oh, like, I learned shit from my paranoid episodes. Like, like I really do think that, like, when you smoke pot, yeah. it fucking, like, shows you yourself. Right. You know what I mean? And, like, I am very sensitive. I'm a yeah, sensitive motherfucker, are. dude. You are. And, like, that's a good thing. Like, it's yeah. not bad. I just have to be able to to acknowledge it and I got to be able to work with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't right. let it get to a point where I'm like Cause it might not always be like true. Right, right. It's like Right, and it's not like and it's not like a foolproof truth. Like yeah. it's something that like if I get, if I have paranoid episodes cuz I've had a lot of like really good paranoid episodes where I learn a lot. Yeah. And I wouldn't have to go there now. But, like, just with that, like, it, it's actually reminding me of what I wanted to do when we started this. Yeah. You know, when we first started this, I was like, and I'm going to blame my wife a little bit. Yeah. Because I was, I came to a point where I was like, dude, I was looking at the world and I'm like, like, this world is fucked up. It's full of hate and anger. Mm-hmm. Right? There's so much hate and anger in the media, yeah. within society. And then that creates more hate and anger. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was like, well, what 
what can change that? And the only thing that can is love, compassion, and empathy. And I'm going back there again. And I told her this. And she was like, oh, well, that's fucking great. And she's like, well, what are you going to do about it? Podcast. And I, no, at first I was like, because we hadn't started this yet. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, I'm going to fucking smile at people and, you know, talk to mm-hmm. the fucking lady behind the counter and try and make her day better and shit like that. Yeah. And she's like, well, at least you're doing your part. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I was like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when the podcast came up, I was like, dude, this is something that yeah. we could, like, at least reach out and maybe change a mind or two. Change a mind. Not, not necessarily change a mind, just like, yeah, not change them. Open their minds? Like, open. like Open it. Relate. Like, I, and I start, and that's another place that I got to, was like, I, I'm looking at all these people, and all I'm seeing is arguing. All right. You know, and it's like, it's an ego thing. All right. We're trying to keep this on, like, the podcast of how you've been feeling about, don't get too far away from uh, your paranoia and what this is. Okay. Because I feel like you're drifting off a little bit. Well, yeah. Well, no, I'm trying to explain okay. where I was when we first started. Okay, this. sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, like, oh, fuck, what I was fucked I? you up. It's an ego thing. Rela- relating. Relating, yeah. And that's how that can show empathy and compassion. Definitely. So that is a way to show empathy and compassion and if you spread that if people can relate to us yeah and they can that can actually help i agree like the fucked up situation that our society country whatever the fuck our human race is in yeah you know and there has to be relation there and um that's where i started and then i got and this is actually exactly what i was talking about and then we keep it people keeps got happening. people got freaked out. Yeah, you know, like everyone got like a little scared, and I think it's still there. Like everyone's like, yeah, yeah. "Oh my god!" Like a little less, a little less. Yeah, because it's been out there and we it's haven't out said there anything. Now. And and, really. and I feel better about it. Like I'm ready to put this shit like all over Facebook. Yeah, we haven't fuck. said anything. What do you mean? Like bad or just no, no, not nah, at all. Nah. But like the whole being able to relate to people to create that empathy mm-hmm. in others. You have to get personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to Okay, good. I'm share, glad you said you that. have to share yourself. Okay. And that might have been like that whole rant about like how you were exploiting me. Yeah. Was really where I wanted to go. Yeah. Like I wanted to go and like I felt like you were trying to pull it out of me. Yeah. But it's really where I want to go, but I'm being held back by yeah. Something. Well, yeah, because I just you feel know what like, I mean. Like, yeah. it, and that's what I, like I texted you right after I sent it to you. I was like, "Is it paranoid? Is it like, am I right in some sort of way?" Yeah, because no, I don't. I don't see it as exploiting you because of what you wanted to do. Right. You know, what and I mean? it's not. That's why, like, when you said that, it was like funny and shit. But you've been saying it. And I'm thinking, like, yeah, but that's what you wanted to do. But hold on, hold on, <laughs> yes, hold on. It's true. Hold dude. on. All right. So I was talking to my dad yesterday. Okay, he wasn't taking shots, you know. But he was like, "Oh." uh he was like, oh, I was listening to Luke talk about his dad. You know, he's like, that was really interesting, you know? And he's like, Luke really loves to talk about himself. Yeah. You know? And he was like, hey, hold on, just let me go. And he no, was like, he was like, he's like, oh, no, I'm not saying, like, you know, he likes to talk about himself. He's like, but me, he's like, I'll maybe tell a story. But he's like, I don't like to like, he's like, but Luke likes, and I'm like, I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I know he does. And he's like, no matter how hard we try to, like, talk about Trump and, like, uh, politics and religion, it's, like, somehow we always come back to, like, I'm angry and, like, you're paranoid and, like, I'm tired and I flipped out or, like, you blah, blah, blah. Like, we, I like talking about myself and you do too. Right. So, like, when I bring it back to that, it's, like, it's, like, what makes us different than Joe Rogan or whatever because, like, there's an element of, like, us. They're following us. They're watching us. Right, they're watching us. Yeah. And is that, that's what I'm saying. Like, is it, like how I believe that we can connect with people on a better level than just arguing. Yeah. Like, and to relate to people, like you got to get personal, I right? A hundred percent. You know, so and what we're doing, what we're doing. Yeah. We're not like hiding really. Like we're just like talking about what comes up. Right. Or... And, and, and like how your dad said, like, I like to talk about myself. Like I've realized something about myself is that I've been, like I'm very self-absorbed, and I have been. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> like everything, like about and, you, huh? Like about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like constantly. It's funny how I get that in the family. What do you mean? Like everybody thinks I'm like that, but really you're like that no, too. No, I am too. Yeah. Absolutely, almost more than me. <laughs> like I, <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't. I, I, it's just but what like, I'm, and it's it's. Yeah. 
it's not to a fault. Like, mm. I can't, I can't be like, it's, it's a bad thing. No, it's not. Like, I'm just trying to be a better person. It's just the truth. You do like you, talking about your emotions. Yeah. Some guys never do. No. You know? And, like, that's not good. They just out. get angry and fucking want to yeah. fight everyone and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, I really do self-examine a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's the type of shit that I think there could be more of. You know, like, I'm listening, I've been listening to Jordan Peterson a lot. Yeah. And when he talks, like, if you pay attention to the way he's been talking. Yeah. Like, he's like, well, you might think this way. You might think this way. And then you're going to think this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how he does that. And I was just wondering about, like, well, because he rubs a lot of people the wrong way. You know, but a lot of the shit that he says, like, the, just the substance of what he's saying Mm -hmm. is so fucking good. But if he were to be able to relate to, like, his personal life more Mm -hmm. and, like, put what he's trying to say, right, put that shit that he's trying to say into his personal shit, like, maybe it would fucking open up the floodgates. Well, yeah, this is different, but that's why the Howard Stern show worked, because it was all about their lives, like, Howard and his, like, wife and, like, like, and then they did, like, goofy shit, too, but, like, Gary, like, it was constant, like, life stuff, and they would fight, and, like, but it was, like, you knew them. That's, he was the first one that got, like, Cruz popular, like, like, Baba Booey and, like, Artie and, like, Benji, like, behind the scenes people, not everybody does that. Right, right. Jimmy Kimmel has his guy, and, you know, they all have, like, their guys, because, like, People like that shit. We yeah. just do. We want to right, know about people. Right, but then at people. the same time, like, I don't want to do it for other people. No, but... But okay. then I don't want to do it for myself either because that's selfish. So um, it's like a very conflicted but place. I'm, but I'm bringing back to my point of, like, no matter how hard we try, it just comes it back just to that. It's natural. That. We always like, try to do things, but it's we do what we do. Right. We, but then Once so- we sit down, it, whatever happens, and we somehow always do that. Like, even what we're doing right yeah. now. <laughs> Like, we are like, 100%. this is like, but that's fine. Like, if this is where it's going, it's where it's going, right? Yeah. It's the fucking church of why. We can't help where it's going. No. Like, that was my final take, is like, we can't help where it's going. Where it's going. Because it's just going. Right. And we, we're both equal partners in this bitch. Even when we, like, try to take it somewhere, and then we get, like, derailed, like, we're still, like, we're still, that's what's just happening. Just like, happening. everything's just happening. And, like, sometimes I feel like, I don't know, like, I've... Like sometimes. What was that? What did you just do? <laughs> no idea. I was looking that way. I was like, reaching. I like, I like you're giving a blowjob. I was like reaching. Blah, blah. Yeah. I was reaching for words from above. I guess. Okay. Yeah. No. Like I mean, like yeah, maybe there are and words like, up and there. It's, it was, what? There are probably words up there. We need to start mm. reaching for words. Reaching for words. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck am I trying to say? Yeah. But um. <laughs> No, and it's fucking uncomfortable to get, like, super personal. Yeah. So, fuck you. Yeah. So, though, I guess we're back to square one. <laughs> I didn't even learn anything from that. <laughs> You're still going to be paranoid. I'm still going to expose you. <laughs> You're still going to expose me. Exploit me. Get the words right, motherfucker. Exploit Yeah, me. and I named you. Yeah. Yeah, you did name me. Oh, fuck us. Yeah. That's fun, dude. I don't care. This one's actually but going it slow. Is, oh, we paused it. We paused yeah, we it. paused it. Yeah. But it is like a... It's... It's like an... It's a uncomfortable, awkward thing sometimes for me. And, I, like, I understand that I that's, it. like, my... I don't know, that's like where I'm at right now, and I don't give a fuck. It, it does feel good, though, when people compliment you, right? Like, at the lake, we'll be like, oh, I love... It does feel good, It right? does feel good, and, like, when I'm not getting that from, like, my friends and my family yeah, and shit, you're getting that like, weird am vibe, I but... doing the right thing? Because I have a lot of self-doubt, too, because, yeah. I mean, a lot of choices that I've made in the past have fucking been wrong. Yeah, you weird. know, so, like, whenever I'm doing something that feels right, yeah. and I know it's right, yeah. You know, like this moderation thing. Yeah. You know, like everyone's like, oh, "What the fuck is that?" Like, yeah. And I'm not hearing it, but like I'm, da- I'm hearing it in my own fucking head. Well, where you at with the whole moderation thing? You still like, are maybe with it? like two, yeah, like and I'll drink like two, three times a week. No, I don't even mean you. Just you still believe in moderation? That it can work? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like I, I, I believe that it was a fucking. It, like, my drug use and my alcohol use. See, you use. brought up that drinking thing. What? Like, you just, just brought up the drink. You, I did. You and always And now that. you're digging harder. No, but that's, that's, but see, that's, that's a good example of what happens. It is. That like, is. you'll bring it up, and then I just ask a question on top of it. Randomly, I'll, like, 
come out of left field with like a question, but most yeah. times I just like kind of pile on top of what you were saying. Right. Yeah. No, I know. It's like you can't help you to play not so- talk you about You want to talk about soccer? No, I can't. I don't know why because I'm self-absorbed. That's why I was glad my dad said that. I'm like, thank you. I'm not the only one that noticed that. Like, yeah. I'm not like exposing or exploiting. exploiting. You do like to talk about yourself. No, I do. And I, and like that's, but there's a reason. Yeah. Because I think that that's how people can relate. Yeah. Is the fucking trailer that you did. Yeah. Whenever I talked about, like, it's we all trailer. have insecurities. Yeah. And that's how we can fucking relate. You know what bugs me about that trailer? What? <laughs> every time I watch it now, every time you say that word, because you said Stan Port. What is you it? Said, <laughs> you said Stan Port. Stan? Stan right. You, instead of Stan Point. You said Stan Point. <laughs> Stan Port. Sand Port? I'll show you. Hold on, hold on. I'll play Instead of standpoint? Yeah, yeah, you're like, hold on, you'll see. Fucking, no. you'll be like, a standport. Instead of standpoint? You said point. Oh, stay on point? No. What the on. fuck? What? Why would I say standpoint? You'll see. And like, now every time you say that word a lot, and I always hear it. Different. I say standpoint? Let's just watch it. All right. For good old times. Yeah. Sakes. Look at us there. It even feels yeah, different. Yeah, dude, it does, yeah. <laughs> that Art, 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 What's his name? Art, 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 the brother? <laughs> no, Arthur, but no, the, the, oh, the Jew guy is happy. That's feedback. I'm like, well, you don't get it. Yeah, right. And maybe so I don't even get it yet, but I get it. But I, I don't even get it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, maybe I don't get what we're doing either. <laughs> but no I get what idea. we're doing. It looks exactly <laughs> same. I, Dude, honestly, I have no oh, idea shit. what we're doing. Is there a like, boys is there a moon? Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's, yeah, there's a moon. But, like, is there a moon? What is that? I love your face. Hold on. I love your face. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's a moon. Look at your face. Yeah, there's a moon. But, like, <laughs> is there a moon? What is that? <laughs> Wait, is there? Uh, it's just like, yeah, like, like, stupid. It's boring. It's boring. Oh, it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at all. Oh, we're totally gonna out ourselves on so much shit. Yeah, guys. Fuck the system. I try. Yeah, I try. Here we go. Uh, I, I just yeah. think a lot differently than people yeah. I think, and I think that that's a good thing. It's yeah, dude, but it's true. Like. It, I just, like, I see it from a human standpoint. That's the way that I see it. Standpoint. So, a human standpoint. <laughs> no, every time you say that word, yeah. I hear yeah. port. I laugh in my head. It's not easy. Man, and I've been trying days. to figure out where humans are equal. I don't know if I did. I explain this to yeah. you before. Yeah. On this insecurities. Insecurity. Yeah, right? End of it, like, everyone has fucking insecurities. Right. I have them. I'm self conscious that I'm racist, but I'm not. And just all kinds of different shit, man. And people are scared. And that fear in this country, anger is the number one go-to when people are scared. It's funny. Even from the beginning, though, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, a lot of stuff. So, like, is, is what is this? Like, do we have a theme yet? Because that was my whole question in my yap. Like, what is the theme? Like... Is that part of it? Like, is but I mean, not, part of it could be like my personal transformation from being physically addicted to alcohol. Well, I thought shit. that was stupid too. How like what? you were like, well, if we're gonna talk about me, then the show's about me. That's not true. You're just part of it. You're part of the show. So yeah, it doesn't mean the show's about you. But that's just because but, it's. But part. no, no, no. But that's what I was saying. Like, is that part? It's like part of the I, show. And I know that that's what it is. It's just part of it. It's yeah. not like your show because like... I'm not saying that it's my show. No, I know you're not saying it's your show, but I'm just saying like just because like you talk about shit, that's just part of it. Like we talk about ourselves okay. or we talk about religion we talk about sex, uh, just everything. That's us. You right, know? We're right. not Jordan Peterson talking to Sam Harris. We're just like two guys trying to figure it out. That's the fucking that's theme. That's the fucking theme. Two that's guys it. trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's the fucking theme. Yeah, it Anybody, is. That's what it is. That's what know? it is. Who? Your dad said that? No. Your dad said that? No. He He did say Some that. ideas I was playing with. He used that, but when we first started, he said that. I'm just trying to figure it out. No, he said no. what he likes about or our podcast. He's, he's like, like, I was just like you guys, you know, just two guys trying to figure it out. Yeah. But then we said it on when we first started it. 
I don't know if it was you or me that put two Jagoffs just trying to figure it out. Yeah, something like that. That was in there, too. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what it is, dude. It, but, it, like, it's fucking weird to get all personal when fucking... And, like, when you're not hearing, like... Like, your friends and shit. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, it was fucking cool, you know? Like, what is what is wrong? I always just try to... You know what a, I mean? I always try to take a step back and, like... Because I know when you do something, it's, like, awesome and shit. So I try to take a step back... And hear it from like a fan point of view, you know? rather than like a family member. Yeah, or even just like like, I would love to hear like two people we know do a podcast. You know, like we would be like balls. It deep. would be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. I'd love yeah. to like hear it. Oh yeah, you know. But then we would criticize. Like they're not as good as us. So right. I, I was wondering, like, like do we just have like big heads? Because we like love it. But uh, it's like yeah, ours. But it's ours. Yeah. And it's fun. But we will get compliments we don't, like that. Like it's cool. Like hit and shit. Like stay. Like, yeah, those guys. And like we'll, Ryan. Yeah. Like, and there's just like a couple group of fights. There's like, like my sister doesn't watch it, which kind of bums me out. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. But she's not really good. She doesn't, she's not in that world, right? No. There's not a, like and not a lot of people that I know I mean, are. In that world. You know what and I mean? everybody in my world is. Is, yeah. yeah. It's just that younger generation mm-hmm. gap, like Kirby was saying. Yeah. It's just a weird fucking thing, dude. <laughs> well, I think what helps is, like... It's a fucking podcast. Like, we have a show. Like, well, it's a fucking show. Why we're But different. it's about, like, us. Right. At the end of the day... It's just fucking weird. At the end of the day. We throw in topics and stuff. Right. But it still comes back it to It still that. comes back to... Is, and is that, like, a lot of the other shit that you listen to? Mm-mm. No, but I yeah, guess it, but like, some some are a yeah. little bit. But it's just different, though. It's yeah. different, you know. But we're not celebrities. So no, it's like fuck tough. no. Yeah, we. <laughs> Dude, Michael Rappaport. He was like, man. He was talking to Joey Diaz. You know. Yeah. He's like, I remember one time uh, we were doing my podcast. Joey came to my house. And he was talking to Joey. He's like, remember you came to my house? I was doing my podcast, and I remember uh, the dog. My dog was barking, and then Joey was like, oh, that's how it, it's a podcast, you know. And Michael Rappaport was like, oh, I always thought about that. You know, he's like, I used to always freak out when fucking my dog would bark. I'm like, shut the fuck up. But he's like, that's the beauty of it. A dog yeah. barks. There's the a kid dog barking. The kid comes in. That's a podcast. Yeah. That's what yeah, makes it different so. than a show. Right. There's, that's why there's like a... Um, yeah, see, I, I, I guess I don't even understand what the fuck a podcast is. I mean, uh, I, I, I do now. But what is a podcast? Like, what is the, what's the definition? Is it just... Yeah, what is a fucking podcast? I don't know. Do you want to look it up and tell the audience while I go pee? Yeah, yeah. Because right. we're not done. Are we? No. I'll run court by myself. I'll sit in the middle. Is it still recording? Yeah, you're 22, 22. That sounds like the intro. <laughs> what is a podcast? A digital audio file made available on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device. Typically available in a series or new installments which can be received by subscribers. That's what the fuck it is. Damn, I finally got the show to my goddamn self. There's lots of shit. I haven't done a rant in a while. Maybe I could do a rant. What do I want to fucking talk about? Who has the most followers? Can't do a surprise party because we're so busy. When did we start to become shell shock grown up? Huh. That would be weird to do this shit by myself. Oh, shit. So, here we are. What the fuck but why? Episode 21. And I'm with my guest, No Goddamn Buddy. Finally, the way I want it, so I can talk to myself, answer myself, and question things by myself. Uh, I need somebody to talk to. I can't do this shit. Here we are. Whoa. Kicking the basket. Here we are. What are we doing? What is this? Huh? What are we doing right now? Say it. I think even kids never say what Yeah, they don't to. say it. Yeah, right. What's this? What is that? What is that? Say it. Is it a podcast? Say it. She, she even gets shy. She gets Remember shy. Remember talking about... Yeah, and look, she's like kind of shy. Is she shying away from me or the... I don't know. But she just... Remember we were talking about how it's just different? Yeah, it's different. She knows we're yeah, filming right now. Yeah, it's something going on. Do you know we're filming right now? Are you a shy baby? You cute little hand bone. Kids you do cute go little through... little hand bone. Kids do go through like phases where... Uh, 
they're like shy, then they're not shy. Yeah. And, she and like, like it, you can go through them in like a matter of minutes. Yeah. You know, like all of a sudden like she's shy. Like, because whenever I was just down there, she wasn't shy with me. Right. She was like all excited to see me. Mm-hmm. Who am I? What's my name? Yeah, she always says your name. Like I said, she was like, Uncle Luke. Uncle. You're going to have a baby sister? Baby brother? A baby sister. But she's being like really shy right now. Yeah, she is. That's weird. It's just funny because we were talking about that. Right. How the camera changes it. How the camera changes it. She's acting like fucking freaking. I'm a good parent. (laughs) I'm a terrible parent. No, you're a good parent. I don't even. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. You're your own. I don't even feel like a parent. No, still not yet. No, I feel like just a dude trying to. Figure it out. Oh. You know? They're why, all going to laugh at you. That's why me and my dad were talking, and my dad was like, you know, he's like, I remember one time, uh, he's like, it actually hit him recently. He's like, I just realized one time, oh, when he's like, when I had you and Jolie yeah. about my parents, he's like, I used to be critical of them and growing up or whatever. And he's like, I just realized, like, we're all just people just trying to figure it out. Just trying to figure it out. Like, we're parents, but we're just humans. Yeah, we to are. Figure trying, it out. Yeah. You know, and people like, are judgmental. And, yeah, and when people... Save some for me. There's a... I grabbed another one. All right. This, like, this smelled really good. Is it warm? Yeah. Well, oh, that's great. <laughs> it's actually good. You said it like it was a good thing. Yeah. It is? It is. All right. Like, warm beer is, like, not bad. The Germans drink warm beer. A lot of fucking Europeans do. Mm-hmm. Freaking. See, I'm a bad father, too. Mm-hmm. I'm a, but I'm a great uncle, aren't I? Right, right. Yeah. That's right, right. Well, do you feel like a parent? Like a dad? Not, yeah, absolutely. You do now? Cause have- yeah. <clears throat> it's confusing. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, and I was talking to Caitlin and Allison today. And, um. She was over. Yeah, she was over for dinner. You guys were supposed to come, but you didn't come. Because you got a Prager wifey at home. Yeah. And, um, we're talking about how, like, just because she's about to turn 38, and it's like, dude, we're just about 40. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's old. It's old. But it's uh, not. But it's not, but I don't feel 40, and, like, I don't feel like my parents. Yeah. Like, you know, like, we're, like, we saw them as old. Yeah. But, like, we're, it's not the same. Like, there's change <laughs> happening. Yeah, there is. Like, even, like, my friends that are parents. Yeah. I don't think they're like their parents. Yeah. But they're still, I, I, when I pick her up from the daycare, like, I feel like the cool, like, I feel like she's going to have a cool dad. Yeah. Like, I'm not, like, bragging, but, like, I see, like, dorky, like, get in the car, or, like, or jerks. come on, or, like, just dads. Yeah. And I'm, like, rolling up, blasting like Takashi, 6 <laughs> 9 <laughs> Niggas heavy, uh, blicky got the stiffy, uh, got blicky, uh, drum it up, you flippy, uh. Can you put some nice stuff in here real quick? That's right. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's like jamming in the back. Yeah. And like, so I am, maybe that's why I don't feel like a dad because I, what I see is not me. Right. Like I'm doing my own, I have my own experiment though. Yeah. I do. I have like do my you? own idea. What do you got going on? I want her to be her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Huh. I want her just to be her and I'll parent and stuff, but I don't want to like stop her from being her. She has, she's her already. Yeah. And I just want her to embrace it and I just want her to enjoy life. I don't want to just be there every second. Like, don't do that, don't do that, don't yeah, do that. Yeah, don't be a helicopter parent. And, and it backfires, you know, and she's a brat and she can be a brat, but I just have an, I don't know, I just have an idea of what I want to do. Right. And I think she'll be a better person. I just want her to be happy and I, I, my, I think we're always too eager to make them like grow up, right? Yeah. It's always like, but I'm just prepping them. But can, I, can she just be a baby and a kid? And a kid. She can have a job and clean later. Right. And just let her be a kid. She has, like, little little time of this innocence. So why, like, spank her and beat her and, like, discipline Tell her? Tell her no constantly. There's time for that. Yeah. There's time for that. But, and, like, that's what's cool about, like, now that my kids, like, can understand shit. Yeah. You know, like, you can talk to them. I just don't believe in, you like, know, like, beating when, your kids no, into discipline. No. no, like, even getting angry. Yeah, even you know, anger. like the only thing that like I gotta keep my shit together with the kids is when I hear lies. Like that's hard for me. When they lie. When they lie. Yeah. And you know it. I always like. Yeah. Yeah. When and, they know, when you know it. Yeah, you have to remember. But like, but at the same time, like I remember when Casey was here and he was like, "There's a reason people lie, like because yeah. they're scared of getting in trouble." And I've been there. Like I've lied a yeah. lot, and I know what it's like. So. Like, you can't, and there's, yeah, they're kids, and we're supposed to be 
an author, but like I don't want to be an authoritative parent. Yeah. You know, but then people say like, oh well, you know, you don't want to be too friendly with them either because then they won't have the discipline to do the things that they need it's to a do. Tough goddamn balance. to be responsible. Yeah, it is. I think there's a way. There's a way. There is a way to like there's do a, both. There is for sure. You know, but she's, you know, like just they need to do certain things. I mean, she's not scared of me, which like. She laughs when I yell at her, which is bad, I guess. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she laughs at me. See, when I get serious, like, the, the kids know. Like, they fucking, they were playing water games. Hey! What? She said that word. I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. Oh, I'm, oh. Joking. I'm, joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I swear all the time. I just want to be like, you know, like, stop. Yeah, yeah. look, so you're scaring her. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't be scared. What do you think, Rai Rai? What do you think? But, like, the kids were... They were playing with the hose today. Yeah. And they went into my work stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had spray bottles in there that had freaking, like, detergents to clean brick. And there's acid in that mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And they, they emptied it out. But Let's like, see if I we can clean... go the rest without swearing. Just cause. Like, yeah, right. I bet I can. I can. And um, I, I mean, I cleaned it out before I did it. But at the same time, I was like, yo... I'm like, Eli, you cannot go into my work stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, he was looking at me, like, because I was speaking in a serious tone. Like, right. sometimes, like, when I'm trying to be yeah. authoritative, <laughs> like, I'm just like, come on, man. Like, don't do that crap. Right. But, this but like, time, he was playing different. with stuff that yeah. wasn't to be played like with. Acid. <laughs> right. And I'm yeah. like, it, but it, luckily there wasn't anything in it because I'd rinsed it. But there was another bottle that had, like, remnants of it. Okay. And it was still in my truck. So yeah. I was like, like, where's the other one? Like, did you find the other one? He's like, no. He's like, we only had the one. He's like, I dumped out whatever was in it, and it was just water. Yeah. But I was like, don't go into my work stuff. You know, like, mm. and he was looking at me like he knew I was serious. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. like, I can tell when he knows that I'm being serious. Yeah, no, I'll get there, too, when they get older. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, like, can... when they can understand more, but you're still just a little uh, tired. My problem, Kirby says, like, I play around too much. Like, I'm always, like, yelling, but in a joking manner. Yeah. And I'm like, get down here! So yeah, she yeah, know I do that, difference. too. Yeah. So when I really yell... She'll like look at me and like smile. Yeah. So I'm like, are you just being a jerk yeah. off? Yeah. Because yeah. most times I don't really. Jerk off's not a swear word, is it? No, no. We'll let that go. Uh, She's like, why are you so fidgety? Are you tired? Are you tired? You ready to go nappy nappy? Yeah, she'll be up to like three in the morning sometimes, man. Just, really? Yeah. She's a soldier, huh? You got that. Cause Daddy's it. I'm a night owl too. She's like. I a, used to be. I'm not as much anymore. Like I, I could. Like sleep, man. I but, need sleep. But she's actually at the age right now where like everything's like weirding me out. Like she calls me like dad now, not daddy. Like, oh she really? Said, like tonight she said dad. She says dad. Yeah. That's cool. That's different than daddy. It is, yeah. yeah. And it might go back to daddy afterwards. And like another thing, you see? like she. What is that? That's you. That's you. She's a talk. What is, who, who's on there? Who's, who's on there? Who's that? Who's on there? Say it. Come on, say it for the camera. Keeper. Who? Keeper. Huh? Keeper. <laughs> say, is that a pod, pod what? Podcast. Yeah. Podcast. There it is. Podcast. Every time she hears the music. Podcast. She's, she's got a cool voice. I know. She's a little it's a little raspy. Huh? Yeah, she does. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she, it's so cute in the morning. She'll like, uh, you know, when their kids are tired. Yeah. Yeah. I know, she was excited to see Mia today. Huh. I know, Mia was a little bit bummed. Yeah. But Allison brought over uh, Kira, so All they were right. playing. You got replaced. Just a little bit. No one can play, replace Riley. No. Nah. I knew we weren't doing Idol out. Yeah. I want to go, though. I do, too. We're, we're going Labor Day, I guess. Yeah. I Dude, got... it's going to be so crowded Labor Day. That's what day. I said. Like, fuck. I didn't even think of that. I did. That's the first thing I thought oh, of. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it even going to be worth it? It's like, I like shit like that. Like, I'm, like, lame. That's why I wanted kids. You totally just dropped the S-bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I like stuff like that, too, Jason. Right. Fryer. I like stuff like that. Like, yeah. Like, family stuff. Yeah. I it's like family fun. stuff. Yeah. And, like, uh, my mom's old boyfriend, Chuck, mm -hmm. he always said that having kids is great because it allows you to act like a complete jack butt. What do you mean? Like, you can act like a complete idiot. Yeah, right. You know, and get away with it. Right. You know, like, I already act like a complete child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, like, I can act like a child with my children. Yeah. So it's, it's excused. Yeah. Which is cool. It's weird, like, uh, 
point, stay here. Like, I, it's funny, I, like, love Riley, right? Mm-hmm. And then, so you feel like you couldn't love anything more, right? Right. And, like, you had Eli, and you loved that thing, you know? And right. then you had Mia. Yeah, it is just it, is it opens like, up. Is it the same thing, though? Like, um, love-wise? Like, how does yeah. that go about? Yeah, it is. Like, like right you, away? There's just, like, more room. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, like, it's a different thing, though. Because, like, your first one, you're like, I don't know what is going on. And right. you don't know what's going on until they really start talking. All right, say Eli and Mia were in a boat. Yeah. yeah. I could save one. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> and Caitlin. Say Caitlin. No, hold on. Let's what? Do this. Let's do this. Let's say Caitlin... Your mom. Okay. Eli and me are one. They're one. They're tied together. In right. A strappy. And uh, in a strappy. Yeah. Social profit. Okay. Hobby. Okay. And Jeff are in a boat. Okay. Who's the first one to go? <laughs> Who's the first one to go? To go. The dog. The dog. Yeah. So I have a little bit above the dog. Yeah, you're a little bit above the dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just want to know the first one to go. Is <laughs> I won't. Qu- I won't do. More. You won't go any further. I would, but it's yeah. hard. That is. Yeah, hard. you couldn't answer that. No, right. you can't. Like this. The what well, if? Guess, like who do you love hold more? On, hold on. And then, and then the social prophet would go, and then Jeff would go, right? Mm. Or, or your mom or Jeff. <laughs> Or Caitlin, or Eli and Mia. No, I don't know. I have oh, no really? Idea. It'd be like I don't know. Between I mean, who would? Let's think about it. Eli what about Mia? you? Like, what do if, me? Okay. Do me. I'll do it right now. Okay, so if it was me, mm-hmm. if it was Kirby, it was okay. Riley. Okay. And then it was my, my Drogo. Drogo, say Guapo. Okay, Guapo. <laughs> Sorry, this is my rules, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, I love Drogo and your dad, too, but Guapo is like I'm closer with Guapo. And your dad. And, what would be uh, the first to go? And my sister. And your sister. Who would be the first to go? Um, the first to go would be like my dad because... Oh, no, the dog. The dog. The, <laughs> the dog. dog. The dog, dude. Yeah. Dog. Okay. And then the second would be your dad. Yeah, because my dad would be like, I'll go. Yeah, your dad would be down with that. Yeah, he would. Uh, for his family. You know, you, that wasn't part of the whole deal earlier. Like, you could ask them. No, okay. I would, I would do it because I know he would... He would sacrifice. Say, he would sacrifice. Yeah. Just like I would. Like yeah, would, yeah, know? I would too. Okay. Well, yeah, put yourself on the boat. Okay. Now, uh, who's left? Right. So your sister, Riley, Kirby, your and mom, mom, and me. Oh wait, you go <laughs> before. <laughs> well, for the sake of the podcast, sorry, Dad. We gotta keep this thing. Going. Yeah, keep this thing going. Yeah. Yeah. So sorry, Dad. He right. lived a good life, a long life. Right. Right. Are there? Life. Are there? Um. Are there awards for podcasts? Like Emmys and shit? Yeah, probably. Why? I'm just wondering. Like, just randomly? You were just yeah, like that? when you were, no, when you were saying, like, we got to keep this thing going because we don't have oh. an Emmy yet. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. wait until we get a fucking Emmy. Okay. Or a freaking. Yeah. Oh, 1 1. We're 1 1. We are 1 1. Who knows in that? There, yeah, there could have been a couple <laughs> more. We have no idea. Okay, so, so it's left. All right, okay, so now. Give me a high five. You. Come on. Stop being so shy. High five! Yay! It's like you s- poked her in the face with a yeah. dart. At Hold the on, fair. I gotta do the boat, okay? So who's yeah, left? Okay. Who's left? So My your sister, sister, your mom, mom, Kirby, Kirby and Riley. Riley. And me. And you. And me. Alright, and then. Alright. Rest in peace, what the fuck, but why? Yeah, you yeah. toss me over. I'll find somebody new. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you can find a dirty hippie yeah. at any fish show. Yeah. Huh? You're going to listen to I'll fish. I'll go to a Grateful Dead concert. Yeah, go, go to a reggae show. That's yeah. where you find another one like of me. A hippie in an Ed Hardy hat. But, um, Ed Hardy? A trucker hat. Aren't these originally trucker hats? Yeah. Like like Ashton Kutchner. Kushner. Right? Yeah, it wasn't Ed Hardy, was it? I don't know. It but, was uh, something else. Okay, go walk around. See ya. But, uh. Just gonna get tumbling down yeah, the yeah, door, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best noise ever. I know. You're locked in now. Anyway, uh. She even looks bigger just standing right there. She's but, getting uh, taller. Dude. Yeah, she's getting taller. Yeah. You can see her legs. Yep. Okay, so now it's down to my sister. Julie. Uh, yeah, Julie. Um, Kirby, my mom. Damn, that's actually really tough. I would have and Riley. And Riley, I would have to go. Uh, like based off like age, I would say like my mom would go next over yeah. Julie. 
Just like age. Just because of age. And like okay. my mom wouldn't like want to die. Like my mom would sacrifice too for Julie. Yeah, yeah. See, I feel like my brother would sacrifice. Right. My brother would be like, Dude, let me go. Just let me go. Yeah. Put me out of my misery. Right. And my mom, my mom would definitely sacrifice too. Mm-hmm. But then when it comes down to like your kid and your wife. Yeah, but the, the wife got to go. Yeah. What? Are you serious right <laughs> no. now? No. Holy shit. You even thought about that. No, well, just, like, it, dude, that is all. And that's a hard like, choice to No, it's make. not. Not for me. No? Nah, see you, Curb. Yeah, see you, Curb. I love you, but, you know, that, well, think the only, about this. The only, about, reason, the only reason I say that is because I've said, like, I've thought to myself before, like, I'd be okay like, if one of my children were to tragically die... You'd be okay? If my wife was still there... Right. I'd be okay. I'll like, we could get through it. that stuff. Yeah, but a kid's love is unconditional. I'm not, a dog is more unconditional than a kid. But kids are pretty unconditional. But your wife isn't. Your wife could leave in a week and just be like, see a motherfucker. I don't think mine would, You dude. never know. I don't think she now, I'm would. just saying. I mean, a lot of people have said that, you know? Yeah. It's funny when I'm at grandma's. It's like I'm not even the parent anymore. So you you toss curb overboard mm-hmm. for Riley? Yeah, fuck yeah, right, Riley? I would never toss her over. Yeah, I couldn't toss my kids either, <laughs> no, dude. Never. But you then can't... like life without my wife is harsh. You'll move on. Yeah, I would be. All but right. maybe you just you're more needy. Like you need her more than I need a chick. You know? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like maybe like. Like you love her and shit, but like you're. Well, no, I told you. I told, you. I told you. I told you where that came from was because like if one of them were to go tragically, like just as long as if my wife was still there, like if I lost two, I bet you, dude, Caitlin, be rough. I bet you Caitlin. Lives. Caitlin would toss my she ass toss right overboard. Ass. Yeah, she would. All right, rather I uh, we keep going and I drop right. No, you're right. I throw her. I throw her. <laughs> over here. Yeah, dude, I like get Eli and me, dude, no way. Yeah, Mia looking at you yeah, and Caitlin. Yeah, Eli looking at me, dude, with his right. eyes. You can dude, replace no Caitlin, no offense, Caitlin, or Kirby. And kids, I guess you can replace, but not really. No, you can't. You know? Because they're all different. Yeah, it's different. Well, I mean, yeah, everyone's different. <laughs> so, like, all right, I think we should shut this shop down. Yeah. But, like, I don't know if you heard me. It's funny, when I'm at grandma's, like, I'm, not, I'm not even the parent anymore. What do you she mean? wants grandma. Oh, is that like, what you like, want to like I'm not a parent. Do you not want me? Who do you want? Do you want grandma? She's like, there's people watching. Do you want grandma? Huh? Why are you being so shy? I want you to talk on camera. We're going to watch this in 20 years and be like, look she how said, young. She said podcast. Yeah. But think about it. We're going to be watching this. I'm watching. Yeah. Think about it. Right now. Dude, but I'm like, 40. I'm four. Hold on. I need this moment. Okay. Right now, I'm looking at the camera and I'm 40. No, I'm 50. 50 talking to my 50 year old self right now what are you gonna say and riley look like you're probably like 20 right now yeah watching this and you probably died i'll probably be dead probably be dead because you threw me over the damn shit and me saying that watching this is like oh my god i really he really died dude don't create that (laughs) i'm creating out there you're gonna win the lottery (laughs) (laughs) you know what i'm saying there you gotta be just talk to the future yeah. I do that a lot. I do used to you? throw you off with that. Remember? With the yeah, you guys? would. Yeah, that would throw me off. Yeah, but keep going. You were going to say something. You forgot. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I stink. Oh, like part of the reason, like, oh, because whenever I went down to take a leak and I, I was like, I had like a thing on my way up and yeah. I was like, oh man, like, you know, like part of the reason I do like to talk about myself is because I think about myself a lot. Like yeah. I, I'm, I'm constantly in like self-reflection. Yeah, you are. I am. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad no. thing. Yeah. <laughs> and like sharing that with a freaking podcast is, it's weird, dude. I don't care. Is it? it yeah, it's weird. Alright. gonna wrap it up. Change your life and tell the world about it. Let's do a team high five. End of episode. Alright. Oh, nope. We're gonna high five. High five. One, two, two three. <laughs> Oh, episode 21 with Ride Dog. Right, see ya, peace. All right.